Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michael Gunning, and I'm an international Jamaican swimmer. I thought I'd make my own home programme for you guys to join in with. I know that a lot of swimmers around the world don't have access to a pool, and me especially, so I'd love to take you through just some of the exercises that I'm going to be doing to really replicate those swimming movements. Um, it's not going to be really hard, um, I'm not one of those people that absolutely loves and smashes out press-ups and burpees, so it's just going to be something that really you know, gets the right muscles and um, hopefully you can enjoy it and get some inspiration from it. Um, I do have a laptop in front of me, so I've written down lots of exercises and we're going to be working for a minute on, 30 seconds off. So please join along, um, let's just start off with a bit of flexibility. Um, so let's just do some arm swings, all swimmers definitely do love arm swings. Get some of those fly movements going. I hope everyone's staying nice and positive. I'm definitely trying my best to. Okay, let's do the Michael Phelps. Arms back. Really stretch. One more. Okay, now let's do some side stretches. Stretch out those lats. Now all I've got is a mat and a water bottle, so you really don't need any equipment. Um, I've been trying to do some stuff with bands, um, but yeah, this session won't require anything. So yeah, just grab a mat and a water bottle. Now let's just stretch out the legs. Let's get those hip flexors loose. Okay, now if you feel like you need more, of course, carry on. Um, but let's get going. So let's make sure my mat's nice and straight. Okay, and let's start the timer. So the first one we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be replicating some turn movement. Okay, so we're gonna be lying flat, we're gonna be working the core, we're gonna be tucking. So let's start off. Are we ready? Okay, lying flat, crunching, out, in, out. Just keep that core engaged. Okay, you can do it fast, really tuck in, or you can do it slow and controlled, okay? It's totally up to you. As long as you can feel the burn in, in here, then that's all good. Keep it going. Obviously we need this when we go into turns, butterfly and brushstroke turn as well. Going, 15 more seconds guys. Keep it going. Hopefully you can feel the burn. Okay, and rest. So we get 30 seconds rest. So quite a lot of rest, and that is shifting every time. So next we're gonna do side V sits. Okay, so it's going to work our side abs, our oblique muscles. Okay, take a bit of water if you need. Okay, arm flat. Okay, we're going to bring out our legs, okay? Straighter, the better, okay? Like this. You ready? We'll go for 30 seconds, and then we'll change, okay? Okay, now if we want to outstretch our arm as well, we can. To make it into a proper V sit. So we'll start spinning the laps too. Okay, 10 more seconds left on this side. Can we feel it? Good. Okay, let's change. Keep going. Feeling the burn. Getting a sweat on. Last five. Three. And rest. Okay. Right, we're going to go into squats now. Okay, because obviously. On our turns, we need to be making sure that we're pushing off with a lot of power. So it's slightly wider than shoulder position, okay? 
just gonna squat down, try and keep as straight back as possible. Okay, just down and up. You go as deep as you like. Starting in three, two, one. Good, solid squat. Keep it going. Good, let me go to the side. So I'm not trying to go forward. I'm trying to keep my back as straight as possible. Okay, keep going. Keep breathing. Okay, halfway. Keeping those curls on the floor. Twenty seconds left. Good, really sink into those heels, okay? Last 10. Hopefully we can feel this in the quads. This is what we need to be pushing off the wall with. Powerful. And time, rest. But now we're gonna go into side back lunge, okay? So we can go into streamlined position. You can have our arms on our far sides. We're gonna lunge back and up. Back and up. In fact, we can swap sides every time, okay? So we straighten this mat. Grab a drink. 10 seconds. I'm going to do streamline position. Okay. Off we go. Okay, again, try to keep straight back as possible. Keep breathing. Front arm, show you. Good. Keep going. Coming up to the seven minute marker of work. Keep going. Hopefully, we should feel it in our hip flexors. And obviously, our quads. 10 more seconds. Keep going. Okay, rest. All right, let's straighten this mat again. We've got a walking mat, but we're gonna be doing walkouts now. Okay, so we're gonna come down, walk our hands out, get into a good flat position, and walk it back. Okay, not too hard. But obviously, we're working the right muscles that we need to work. So, starting in five. Got a drink. Let's go. So, coming down, walking out, that position. Back up. You feel my core working for this. This is the position we'll be swimming in. Okay, good. Keep going. 20 more seconds left. We need to try and replicate this swimming position as much as we can. Going to five seconds left. And time. Okay, good. Right, so now we've got press ups. Now, for me, I do have a bit of that shoulder niggle, that swimmer's niggle. So, we're going to be doing a slightly different press up. And um, we're going to be doing the elevate one. So, we're going to do a press up, release, come up, release come up as well, because then we'll always be using that scapular muscles as well, which obviously I use for fly, for freestyle. So let's go. Okay, press up. You can go fast or slow. If you need to take more rest, 
Knees do it, okay? Or if you need to drop to the knees, you can still do the second thing. Okay, you need to protect those injuries. Keep going. Nearly there. 15 seconds left. Five. Okay, and rest. So grab a drink. And next one we're going to be doing is kicks on the belly. So freestyle kick. You can do this fly kick, but we're going to lie flat. Okay, I'm going to be kicking. Okay, which will be quite hard for the minute. Let's see how we can do, okay? Are you ready? Starting in two, one, big kicks. I'm gonna tense those glutes. So working hard. If you'd like to go into string line position, you can. Our swimmers are good in string line positions. Going. In there, fifty more seconds. Keep kicking, keep moving that bum up and down, tensing it, keep it engaged. Rest. Okay, that's good. I can definitely feel my glutes firing. But, whoo, it is hot. Okay, right, so now we're gonna do the swimming arm pull, okay? So, we're gonna stay flat, we're gonna bring one leg, one arm up, we're gonna pull down, turn to the side, okay? So face, face in as much as you can towards the opposite wall. Okay, you ready to go? Let's go. We'll go 30 seconds again. Okay, remember, reach out as far as you can. And back. Try and replicate that movement as much as you can. Pulling through, getting the catch. Okay. 10 more seconds on this side. Catch, and back, and back. That's 30 seconds. Let's swap sides, catch, and back, and back. Okay, keep going guys, we're doing what we need. 10 more seconds, power, catch, and back, power. Okay, rest. Okay, good, now we're gonna do a bit of plank now. Obviously that core position in swimming is so important, so we're gonna start by a raising arm plank. There are two ways to do planks, on your hands and forearms, or on your hands, okay? So I'll demonstrate both. Okay, we can start like this, or like this. Okay, making sure that back is flat. Okay, we're gonna raise an arm. Good. Raise another arm. Keeping that body position as still as you can. I'm shaking slightly. Normally I've got my gym coach probably shouting at me that I've got my bar too high, so hopefully I haven't. Okay, 30 seconds. So if you're on the floor, it's the same thing. Probably a little bit harder, okay, because your body wants to rock more. Okay. Keep 
Breathe in. Can you see my body shaking? Thanks, make me shake so much. And time. Okay, so we're gonna go shoulder plank now around the world. We are 15 minutes in guys, so keep going. We've got this. Hopefully you'll sweat as much as me. Anyone that knows me knows I do not like to swear. That's why I like being in the pool. <laughs> but um gotta do what we can in these times, you know. So plank around the world. And that normal plank position. Okay. We're gonna come up, up, leg up, leg up. Okay, down, down, leg up, leg up, 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 leg up, leg up. Just change it around, seeing how you feel, guys. Okay, keep going. Nearly 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Down, down, up through the legs. How is my back position? Is it okay? We need you can tell. <laughs> up, 10 seconds to go. Okay, right, 30 seconds rest. And our last one is gonna be shoulder taps with our plank, okay? So, there's three different ways we can do this. We can do shoulder taps, we can do knee taps, or we can do ankle taps. So, I will show you them all, okay? So we're gonna be in this position. We're gonna start off by tapping the shoulder, okay? You ready? Five seconds, last one. We're gonna do a bit of stretching off, okay? Let's go. Tap, tap, try not to rock the body as little as you can, okay? You don't wanna be changing, I'm gonna try and hold a good form. Okay, if this is too easy or if this is good, you try and do opposite knees, okay? Almost like getting into that swimming, pulling down past your body, but using your legs as well at the same time. Okay. 30 seconds down. I can really feel it working in my core. Go ahead. Try and control the movement. Oh no, my foot was down. Keep going. Two. Okay. Really hope you found that okay and you've enjoyed it and it's kind of given you a new inspiration, new ideas for some swimming movements that we can do on land. Remember the core and making sure that obviously we are using our, both our arms and legs contraction at the same time, that is the most important thing. And um, yeah, make sure you subscribe, like and let me know what you think of this video and I'll see you soon. Good luck.